Okay, so I've been outside, got the house, the glue has dried, or at least enough for us to to crack on. So let's have a look. So what we're going to be doing is put in the coffee stairs around the edge, outline it at the door and the base of the house. Just do that. Okay, so this is still drying, but this is dried. I'm finding that the um, coffee stir is warping a little bit. So maybe if I did this again, I'd use balsa wood. Um, that might be slightly easier. Foam board and balsa wood perhaps for next time round. So I'm now gonna stick these on. Just got a feeling it's gonna take a while with the, with the uh, EVA. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we have finished the roofs, the roof panels, they took forever. I let this one dry overnight. There's still some bits falling off, so I had to glue those back on, and then I super glued this back on. I had to make some adjustments. Um, they were a little too long. I think where I'd taken the half a centimeter um, off around the rest of the building, I'd forgotten to do it on the roof panels. So they were slightly longer and they came down just a bit too far. But now, 
they should sit fairly flush. Oh, this one's going above actually. This one's going over top of the other one. So they'll, they'll sit like that and that's much better. Whereas beforehand it was, it was quite a bit further down. So I set up here. The other one is drying. That one didn't take as long. So what we're going to do now, let's just refer back to Pat's book. <clears throat> okay, so we've done the roof differently. So now we're moving on to, to this. So we are going to add all of the cladding to the building. So yeah, let's do that. Right, so we've got one side done. It's looking good. I can see it shaping up already. Um, I'm going to do the other end, gable end, and then work on the front. So a bit more intricate. I might want to do is get them to overlap on this side, so it looks flush from the front. So I needed these to be in place so that I can then see the distances that I'm working with and snip them off at the right right angles. So yeah. That's more time lapse. Okay, so another day has passed. I've just, just let this um <clears throat> dry out thoroughly. And what I'm finding, I'm not sure if you can see this on the uh, on the screen, but this is most definitely bowed. Look at this fantasy house going on over here. So we need to get those gable ends square again. Um, I also let the I did some modifications on the roof just off camera as well. So I've I've glued them at the angle they need to be at. I've stuck them together, which then it, it was easier for me to show where I need to um, keep adding the the tiles and then put the sort of cap on um and test fitted it as well which is when i then found out that this is bowed so i think these this is just the the con to using this foam um the drying times are really long i mean i've left it overnight to get it completely dry and to feel confident that it's dry I left it for a few hours the other day and, and tiles were still falling off the, you can see they've, they were still falling off the, the roof. So um, I think if I did it again, I'd get some cards and use super glue just to speed things up. And, and maybe I'll do that and see what the differences are and, and sort of rate it. But what we're going to do today is finish putting the slats across the front. And that's it. I've ordered some windows, so they're they're arriving. So I've measured these, pre-measured these to the brand off of eBay that I've bought. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will just slot in here. And then what I'm I'm hoping we can do is we can get this all finished today. We can get it spray primed. Well, we'll we'll coat it in PVA as well. Let that dry overnight, and then get it sprayed tomorrow so it's primed. Uh, and then paint it and then yes be done be done all right let's get cracking
Okay, so all of the cladding or framing is on. Really needs to dry now. And then I need to go around and just tidy up some of the edges. So again, I'm gonna leave this overnight. To properly dry. What I'll do before I do that is just finish this last row off, replace that tile there. I don't think I'm not gonna be able to get that on. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna weigh this down. Um because some of the some of the coffee stirrers are starting to warp. Tiles done. Let's do that. <laughs> 